Hello Aquarius. <laughs> Welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin. And today, Aquarius, we're going to do your monthly reading for August 2022. We're going to find out what's coming towards you, what messages you need, what you need to know, what's coming your way. So let's talk about you, Aquarius. We're going to start with your career reading, then we're going to move into love. And both will be timestamped below, so pick the one you want, watch them both, do what you got to do. Let's get into this. So let's talk about your money and your career. What's going on with Aquarius in the month of August? No place like home. Card number five, okay. Let's see what this is all about. You know, home is really where the heart is, but let's see what this is all about. Show us what's going on with Aquarius and career and finances in August. And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. Let's get into your money. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And no one flipped. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. We have Justice in reverse. All three reversals here to start. What's going on here? All reversals. Oh, what's that? The moon. Okay, the strength. The knight of wands in reverse. Then we have the moon. This one's fall right into place. The page of cups. The hanged man. So we ended up right. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles in reverse. So let me just check to make sure that's on camera. I've moved inside. Things weren't quite working where I was. If the lighting's not the best, I apologize. I am... Moving in a couple weeks, so I hope it's okay and you can see the cards. I can never tell until I upload it. Um, but once I move, I'll have my tarot room. So, No Place Like Home is the overall vibe and theme for career and money and finances in August. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What do you want to say about this? You're trying to heal from something really disappointing here. The chariot in reverse. So, you were the Queen of Pentacles is not working on something, not giving to something, not investing in it anymore. But the Six of Swords in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse is like, even though you're holding back and you're not investing in this, you're still thinking about it. You're still stuck on it. It's still making you sad, still making you, um, you know, you're still thinking about the disappointments of it. So if you had to quit a job or got fired, it's still on your mind. If your business hasn't been going the way you want, um, you're, you're ready to move on to something new, but you're still stuck on it kind of thing. So... Um, with the three of swords in reverse and justice in reverse, you're trying to find, you're trying to heal after disappointment here, Aquarius. Something did not turn out. Maybe it was a career. The two of wands with the death. It's going to take some planning and some change in order to get this going. Oh, something's trying to poke its head out here. Yeah. Oh, that too. The nine of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse and mindset frame. Okay. So this is my change your mindset combo. You wouldn't believe how often this comes out because, and it's like, there's like gazillions of combos available, but this is a change your mindset combo for me. So this is all about, um, when we have disappointments, we tend to get stuck on those disappointments, those heartaches, those, why did they, the employer treat me that way? Why didn't he give me the raise I deserved? Why was that person making more than me? Whatever the whys, but, um, it's why did people not treat us the way that we deserve to be treated? Um, and we get stuck on those whys and we get stuck in the past and we get stuck. So this is a really big message about, yeah, sometimes shit isn't fair. Sometimes people put money over people. Sometimes people are greedy ass mofos. Sometimes there's just assholes out there and we just have to not focus on them. There, there's, sometimes there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes it ain't even personal. Sometimes it is just what it is. And for you, this is about removing, stop thinking about that. So when we dwell on the past, we don't create the future because we're focused on the past. Like when we're depressed and thinking a lot, we're anxious, we're in the future. We're thinking about the future, but when we're sad, sorry, let me rephrase that. When we're depressed, we're thinking we're stuck in the past, right? When we're anxious, we're living in the future. So live in the present because the present's a gift and it's appreciating the present, showing appreciation in little things and believing in what you deserve. So when we stop focusing on what we don't have and we start focusing on what we do have and what we want, that's when we start to see what we want. That's when we start to manifest what we want. So it's going to take some planning and some changing to get you in the right direction. But where you were going was the wrong path. The chariot's in reverse here with the world. You weren't meant to go there. Um, I, I feel like what, what I keep being drawn to with this is home is where the heart is and your heart wasn't there. That's why it's upside down, which is weird because it's not usually how I perceive that. But Whatever you were doing, um, the universe didn't want you there, Aquarius. It was not meant to be where you were. So there were lessons to learn, but that's what they are. All right, those disappointments are lessons so that you can move forward. Um, and, a cons and, and planning. The two of, yeah, oh. So it's about removing that. It's funny because it's about, 
I know it's the Three of Swords, but I was just saying this is about following your heart because if you don't follow your heart, you end up in heartache, right? This is about planning. You're in the planning phases here, but you have to remember to plan for what you want and what you believe you want. Like you have to believe what you want, you deserve. Let me just say it like that. The strength in reverse, there's more anxiety, there's more doubts with the moon here. Like you're, you're fearful. You have a lot of fears circling on in your minds um, that things aren't going to work out or things aren't going to go the way they should or you're not going to get what you deserve, but you will. You just have to believe that. The seven of wands and the emperor in reverse. You have to push away those doubts. You have to understand that, um, you know, as an Aquarius, you're definitely highly intelligent and you're a thinker, but you have to understand that sometimes overthinking can hurt us and we need to put our heart before our mind, right? And... Um, we have to think and plan, but we also have to follow our heart. And when you don't follow your heart, you end up this way. And I feel like that's something that's happened here. You were not on the right career path, job path, company path, but that was out of your control. There's a lesson you had to learn there. And you might have, um, you might have run in, this is a really sneaky, this is a really bad energy. You might, <laughs> Aquarius, you might have run into some pretty, um, sometimes when you're highly intelligent, you know, people are envious of you. They are jealous of you. Things will come naturally to you that they don't come to other people. So when you're in the place of employment, sometimes Aquarius is stand out because you are good at communicators and you're really, you're smart. Um, you're just highly intelligent motherfuckers. So with the emperor in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse, you found out like this, um, whatever you're not working on, like there, maybe there was an employee there or a coworker or a boss, but somebody was just, um, a manipulative asshole. <laughs> I think, I think I was saying earlier that sometimes there's just assholes in life and it's not fair and there's nothing you can do about that but it's about releasing that drama and that disappointment look at that it's about releasing that and not letting that block you from your happiness whoa it's like exact letting that block you because you are the nine of pentacles you are independent you can you are very intelligent whoever on this reading is for the aquarian for this reading you are very intelligent very independent and maybe people don't like that but you know what that's their problem that's not yours so don't let their problem block you from from following your heart and letting your heart get you on the right path because running into that manipulative this person here whoever this is i mean they could have been an aries um but i feel like it's more of um they were just um and they just <laughs> they were not a nice person <laughs> i don't know how else to say high priestess in reverse and the, they were someone that was nice to your face but a motherfucker behind your back aquarius you ran into um a real fake person a two-faced person definitely but you know what that was meant to happen to get you where you needed to go i know it's easy for me to say that and it hurt but that's what happened here in this past whether it's a company but whatever that is they were um or beginning of august you're realizing that um i'm sorry that you ran into someone like that we all have in our life there it is again they were really a, oh my god i don't like this person but the point is it's not going to stop you from getting what you want because here in the end of August, you're starting to move past that. You're not going to let your fears keep you stuck. You're learning and you're realizing that following your heart, you know, heart and mind combined, right? That's the perfect balance. And that gets you, yeah, you're in the, you're in the planning phases now. So if you haven't left this job, you're about to, if you haven't left this company, you're going to, you're just finding out in August what this person did. Could have been a boss. That's going to lead you to where you need, it's, it's a, <sighs> You're going to hate what I'm going to say, but it's, it's almost like it's a gift from the universe because what it's going to, where it's going to lead you is going to be so much better. You're not even going to be looking back. You're going to be looking forward. So, um, the universe, they did this, not the universe, but this person did this to get you going where you're supposed to be Aquarius. So, uh, let's get a few Oracle questions or answers and we'll find out where you are in, um, September, but in the month of August, you're finding out about this, you're moving past it. And you're, you're trying to create that balance between heart and mind. But look, once you create that balance and that heart comes forward, heart is where the home is or home is where the heart is. That's when the magic happens for you, Aquarius. Ah, look at that. That was weird. The five of... The card just... Those just fell on my dog. The A, as I was saying that, the Ace of Pentacles flipped up with the Queen of Swords. Hold on. It's like underneath my dog here. That's how those fell on the ground. So... That's when the creates the opportunities because you need your, your heart needs to be in it for whatever reason. I feel like you can't just, I, you knew that that's not where you belonged anyway. Let me just say that your intuition's guiding you somewhere else. So what do you want to say to Aquarius? Let's see what messages you have. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world and nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Maybe a really good cook. Um, so let's see what you need to surrender to 
as you come out of this planning phase and into the action phase, because I feel like <laughs> August is all about planning. What do you want to say? Like, there you are, planning, plotting, figuring out where to go, which flag to reach. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have as we all have magic in us, even the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you're a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Right? And that's gonna create magic in your life as you realize that. <laughs> and the energy oracle message for Aquarius, we wanna say. Oh, that fell on my dog too. <laughs> She's like, why are you attacking me with the cards, Robin? Hold up. Contract. Card number six. Let's get your message, Aquarius. One moment. So you might, okay, so this card shows a contract in the background that's ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. The union might be a business deal, sale of a home, new job, or commitment in marriage. But whatever the connection, it's more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding. The scales adjusting are indicating that if legal action is underway, it's going to turn out in your favor. This, shard, this card, however, is shining a light on potential new opportunities. So we're made aware and receptive of what might be coming your way. We had the Ace of Pentacles. So let's see where you are in September. Let's see if this opportunity comes through. Because Page of Cups, too, are also about messages and opportunities, right? So towards the end of August into September, something new is going down for you, Aquarius. Let's find out. What do you want to say? So this is your potential outcome because there's always free will. And again, this is where are you going into September? Where's Aquarius in September with this career? Strength. Five of Wands. Knight of Swords. Death and Rebirth in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you're finding the strength and the courage to put that conflict, to put the betrayal behind you. Um, you're rushing forward. So that's anchoring this. The Knight of Swords is forward movement. You're not even looking back. Death and Rebirth with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, you know, like, let's say you have to leave this company that you've been at Aquarius for 10 years and, you know, you're the executive and now you got to go back and just be like a department manager or something. You might have to go down. There might be an adjustment, but you know that this change is for the best. You know that it's going to end up being better and the opportunities that are coming are going to be good, but you're going to have to re- rework your way up re you know rebuild re-network rebond have it's just in the beginning but the, the point is that's where you're going and that's where you want to be you've learned your lesson you learned a valuable lesson here with these these um these betrayals but the ten of swords with the three of pentacles the ten of swords is all about the swords coming out the the wounds are healing the sun's coming up things are changing the three of pentacles is all about working and, and working on a partnership so communication about new opportunities. So you've got new opportunities coming in. You're rushing forward. You're putting the past behind you. The drama there that happened. They lost a good employee. They got lost a good boss, whatever that was. Um, and you're moving forward um, and just putting the past behind you. You're not resisting it. You're not fighting it. You're working. But you know that you kind of might have to start again, you know, and that's okay. Like starting again is just with a new employee, new business. You're just kind of starting again, but you'll end up in a better place. So let's get your final message here, Aquarius. You're in a good place in September. You're moving forward. You're moving forward fast. You're taking the new opportunity and you're moving to something new. So there comes a point when we have to say, I'm here to love my life and figure out who I am, not who you think I should be. Set your intention for the day. What can you do to be your authentic self? That's exactly what you're doing and you're following your heart. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your career reading. Let's get into your love and see what's going on in love for you in the month of August. So one moment here. And both times as I was doing that, I saw the lovers. That's interesting. I think it might be a good month, but let's find out. Aquarius, love, August 2022. Let's see what... Let's see what's coming towards you. Let's redo that. What is coming towards Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? How are they doing in August? What can they expect in love? Show us. Keep an open mind. So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's good, right? If whatever didn't work in the past, why keep going back to the same thing? Change it up. <laughs> so what's going on with Aquarius in August? Talk to us. Okay, so you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or somebody that you're highly attracted to. 
So the Six of Swords, or someone who's highly attracted to you. Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Justice in Reverse, the Six of Pentacles. We have two Sixes and Sixes in Tarot, and in life are all about love and romance. So let's see. Death and Rebirth, Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups. Let's see those fears. You see those fears, Aquarius. Seven of Wands in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. So we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands here. So we have someone that has made you feel, you may have already met them, but um, you have a lot of feelings for this person, Aquarius. So the Six of Swords is all about moving forward, putting the past behind you and moving forward. So from the past, I feel like I am speaking to a single Aquarius here who's, you had no one on your mind, you're completely single, there's not someone that you're thinking about. You've learned your lesson, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. <laughs> and then enter this Queen of Wands. So what do you want to say about this Queen of Wands? Someone that you find extremely attractive, you're very magnetized, you're very mesmerized, actually. I'm being drawn to how she's mesmerized, to the light, right? You really like this person's energy. Ooh, they could be a Capricorn. Look at the King of Cups twice. That's how you feel about this Queen of Wands. You might be really attached. You might be thinking a lot. You're an Aquarius. You might be up in your head a lot about this person, dwelling on them, thinking about it. They could be the same as you. Because when I was clear, like, oh, there's the King of Wands in reverse. So that's a lot. You're worried about other people. I mean, obviously, if they're the Queen of Wands, they're going to be attracting a lot of attention. So you're thinking a lot about um, the attention this person gets, but you have a lot of feelings for this person. But I think of how much attention they get might make you really nervous. Um, the Justice in Reverse. What do you want to say about that? Or it could be the amount of attention you get makes this person nervous. Take that how it resonates because I was just being told this might be the other way in my head. So the High Priestess, the Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles is clarifying the Justice in Reverse. So... Your intuition's telling you that this person's, they're not like other people. They're not going to do that. You, they, Your intuition's guiding you to this person. You don't want to miss out on them. Yeah, you don't, um, you don't want someone else to scoop them up. You know, when you, you don't, when you find a good catch, you don't fuck around. Like you don't play games. You don't do nothing. You go after them. You let them know you don't want to miss out on this. So I feel like you are actively um, letting this person know how you feel about them you don't want anyone else you don't want to you don't want to share this person you don't want them to give to any other situations you're ready you meet this person and you know it could be like love at first sight kind of thing Aquarius for you but you meet this person you know you want to be with this person you're ready to um you're ready to have something you're ready like if maybe before you weren't I don't know there are fears here but you're ready to have a new beginning with this person and I don't feel like this is a new person or a new beginning I don't feel like it's an old person I feel like you're just ready for something new feel like they're not like someone you've known. They're different, uh, which is what you're looking for. What is this Three of Swords, though? What is this fear, these doubts? What do you want to say about this Three of Swords? Chariot in reverse. Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Cups in reverse. So you're worried that it's going to go nowhere. You're worried that you're going to invest your energy, your heart, your time, your effort, and this person is going to stray or they do have a wandering eye but the five of cups in reverse you're not letting that control you Aquarius so those doubts are there those insecurities are there but those are natural fears you know when we fall in love when we develop feelings for someone those are natural fears to have that they don't feel the same way but um you know there's the magician you're going to tell this person that you want to be in a, and at the end of August you're going to like the seven of wands if you push people away before if you were guarded before you're not with this person your walls are gone you're extremely vulnerable here, Aquarius. Um, with the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Wands, you're letting this person know. That was like really loud. My apologies. You want to be their emperor. You want to... Um, you're coming up really strongly as a, a masculine... Um, the emperor and the, the King of Cups. So this is from the masculine perspective. Um, remember, that could be... I'm sometimes, a lot of times, I'm the masculine energy. So it just depends what energy you're in. But uh, male or female, this is strong masculine. You want to take control of this. You don't want to lose this person. So you have this... Um, you're letting them know and you're making yourself vulnerable while doing it. You're not just like being, um, you're being very emotional and, and caring with this person. You love, you fall in love. Of course, I don't know what else to tell you. You're completely falling. You're in love with this person. You fall in love with them head over heels. Um, and you want to be in a relationship with them. You're ready to let your guard down. Want to say anything else about that? 
Three of Cups in reverse. You're really fearful, though, that there's other people. There's the Queen of Cups, the divine counterpart. So you're very, very fearful of, like, uh, this is looking, I'm looking over. The third party, how many people are paying attention. You have that. You may have had issues with that in the past, people putting you in third party situations. You do have that fear of it. So let's ask the, the question, is there, where does this person's loyalty stand? This Queen of Wands, this person Aquarius is attracted to. Is there options? Are they wandering? What kind of, tell us about their intentions towards Aquarius, their loyalty, their intentions. Tell us. The world. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, what's that? The sun. And the, the five, they don't have, they don't want any. No, no. Five of Wands in reverse. There's no competition here, Aquarius. They have eyes for you and only you. So, um, <laughs> the one who everybody wants wants you so you don't have to worry about that they've they've got walls up there's boundaries they don't uh they don't stray they deal with one at a time um so you don't have to worry about that they're invested in you um they're focused on you and that's it you make them happy so this person's not uh no the person doesn't have a wandering eye it is not a fear that um you need to let control you. <laughs> so let's get the caring connection here and we're going to find out where you guys are in September and how things are going. But you're telling this person towards the end of the month that you want to be in a relationship with them. You fall in love, Aquarius. You fall in love in the month of August. So let's see. So union. The union of the divine soul is a miraculous event that begins when you least inspect it. Oh, there's three here. Illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection and rejoice embrace your loving connection and rejoice and don't forget that could be from the past for some of you that could be the present we're gonna find out um we're gonna find out so what does aquarius need to surrender to when it comes to this connection in august what does aquarius need to surrender to oh tell my dog again she's getting attacked over here surrender to passion so get, the, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. And the energy oracle message, appreciation. Card number 15, let's get your message here, Aquarius. One moment. Okay, so this card shows a woman holding a rose. She enjoys the scent, but around her, her bramble bushes. She could be focusing on the scarcity in the background, worried she might get caught up in their prickly blanches, but instead she's experiencing the blessing of the single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice, and the buds are waiting to open. This card's telling you that you have a lot in your life to be grateful for, and like the flowering bush behind the woman, there's more to come that you can't yet see. So congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring you worth and richness of life to you and in this situation that's love so i do feel like there's someone from the past that it wasn't a soul connection they weren't the right person that's not where you were supposed to be and you know there's someone strong coming in now let's see if it's soulmate twin flame let's see how you feel september let's get your potential outcome how's aquarius doing with this how does the person feel about them are they in union so i say potential because there's free will and i say outcome but where are you in september How's Aquarius and this person doing? Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah. The Chariot. The Tower. The Page of Cups in reverse. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Aquarius. This is, <laughs> this is like soul-shaking love. Uh, um, you know that song, Don't, Can't Let Go by En Vogue, where it's like, I'm not going to sing, but soul-shaking. You know, if you want to go listen to that song, that's what you feel. Um, the Tower, the Chariot, the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is all about no longer holding back. You're not going to have regrets when it comes to this person. You're telling them how you feel. You're not going to hold back because you don't want to lose them. You don't want to miss out on something amazing. So in the past, if you were more, um, if you were not an emotional person, if you did not express your feelings, if you didn't tell them how you felt, you're going to because you don't want to lose this person. You feel a strong soul connection here. This person brings you happiness. They make you feel happy. Maybe ways you've never felt before, Aquarius. The Tower, the Chariot, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Woo! This is soul-shaking love. <laughs> That's all I can say is um, this is to the essence of your bones. This is this is amazing for you. You're moving forward with success, with victory. Um, it's the mutual. 
you're going to change each other's lives. You're going to heal the pain from the past and create a really good future together. So there's a strong, strong soul connection, soul tie. You're in a committed relationship with this person and moving forward in September. And I feel like they're making you look at love differently. Um, and that's amazing. So Aquarius, I like, I got goosebumps. This is what I have for you. Let's get your final um, card to, sh to close off your reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading. August, it sounds amazing. If you like my style, please don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Helps my channel to grow. And let's get your message here. What's the final message you have for Aquarius? What do you want to say to close this off? There it is. Be faithful to that which exists within yourself. Return to an affirmation throughout the day that reinforces the parts of, the, of you that you want the others to know. So I am an Aquarius and I'm capable of anything. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.